everybody i am filming i'm starting to film my new crafty stitchy chronicles video um i've actually just finished filming my last update for the last couple of days so today is still the second but um before we go to bed we are we have finished getting marky ready for bed i've gave i gave him a bath he is now sleeping kind of early it's still nine o'clock night time but nine o'clock but um he's he was kind of tired so i just put him to bed and now we are getting ready to watch a video uh watch a movie i guess and uh, my mom is going to be leaving tomorrow afternoon and my husband's father is moving in with us tomorrow which is going to be a hell of a ride um yeah i'm going to talk about it in some video um maybe a stitch along that i'm going to do but yeah his rent at his apartment had ended and he decided he wanted to move in to his house uh, actually he didn't want to be alone at the house he was living in so I guess now it's a new era for us again um, to be honest I'm not really really um, happy about that because um, you know living with one man is enough for me plus I have a baby uh, plus I need to take care of him um, and I don't really want another person living with us, especially him being another man, even though it's my father-in-law, but they are so messy and really guys are messy. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Anyways, uh, tomorrow is going to be a mess. Afternoon is going to be, I think, really interesting because... The movers are coming, bringing his stuff over. I don't know how this is going to be and how we are going to be leaving because I'm afraid that at some point my husband is going to just explode on him. Um, they were never that close. After his mother died, um, he, they suddenly, you know, well, they are the only relatives left in this country because his sister lives in Canada. So... Um, I mean, my husband's sister. So his father decided that his son is the only person in the world he loves and cares about and wants to be with and live with. So now we are going to have our grandfather, Marky's grandfather, living with us. Um, yeah, considering the fact that, um, again, they were never that close and they became close living apart, I'm afraid that once he moves in here, they will begin having problems, even more problems that I will probably have with him, like not watching a glass and putting it into its uh, place. I mean, um, never mind. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'll see. Um, anyways, don't want to really think about that because it kind of ruins my mood. But I want to start this crafty uh chronicles week with my long dog um while i still can't stitch tonight um that's what i'm going to do i don't know if i'm going to do the diamond painting though i really wanted to but we'll see maybe i'll do it tomorrow like morning or something that depends on marky's mood um this is something that i want to do now so i'm going to try and finish this little birdie and I really, really want to fill in this area with the, you know, this weird design that's happening inside this triangle. So that's something that I'm planning to do. I am sure that I'm not going to finish it tonight, but I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do some progress with it because I have so many beautiful works that I want to stitch and so many beautiful stuff that I want to start. And yeah. Too many plans, too little time, and what can I do? Okay, so let's start this Chronicles week and see how we can fill it up with beautiful stitching designs and fun 
process <laughs> good luck me all right so today is the third um it's actually um almost five o'clock in the afternoon so i am still on this project i've stitched it last night for a little bit um as you can see i have finished the bird and now i'm about to finish this little ornament it's the same thing as these ones but kind of looking the different direction but um i am trying not to move over here because i really want to start the new designs i am trying to keep within the lines and just fill in that little area just want to finish it um but uh i think that's enough because i haven't I've just started stitching it like half an hour ago because we were kind of busy with Marky. Um, I overslept. Uh, well, why is it good to have your mother in your house? Is because uh, we woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Marky was fed, changed, and she took him to the living room because he was he wouldn't go back to sleep and I actually fell asleep till like 11 o'clock so yeah I've had a lot of sleep today <laughs> but I'm still tired and this little guy is here with me little pop hey what are you sleeping oh gosh <laughs> all right um anyways um yeah thank you um, she is about to go back home in a couple of minutes. Um, my uncle is picking her up to go back home. And I am staying here waiting for my husband to wake up. And like I said before, my father-in-law is moving in tonight. So that's going to be a hell of a ride. Um, so we'll see about that. I'm going to try to stitch a little bit before all that starts. But Marky wasn't sleeping that much today, so I don't know how that goes. We'll see. Um, still haven't decided. But I do want to stitch a little bit of something different. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so my plan for the rest of the night, hopefully I'll be able to stitch a little bit of this, is to go on and stitch some of my dimensions. This is the Christmas ornaments. For those of you who don't remember, one of six. So this is what I'm going to be doing. It's the point where I stopped last time. And this is where I'm going to start. I do want to fill in around the house to just finish the whole house area. It's kind of larger areas where you can, you know, just stitch with the same color because all around I think that it's going to be a lot of work because there are trees over there and ornaments on the trees and then I have a hell of a lot um, of backstitch and French knots to do so that's going to be interesting but altogether I've seen this design finished today online and I think that's so beautiful that it's actually going to be so interesting to see it in one of my, you know, mine. Now, Christmas kits are now really interesting to me for some reason. I have said that before in my other video thing that I am so, so into stitching Christmas kits right now. I don't know why, but my plans, I have actually first time in my life, in my stitching history, decided to make myself some plans and start stitching some Christmas uh, related designs. So I do have a plan for that. I will be definitely showing you what I have in mind. I have something new coming in that I need to show you. But we'll see how that goes. It still didn't arrive. Um, meanwhile... A little bit of a close-up this is what i have stitched and i think it looks pretty good i think the crosses are looking pretty good and let's go on and stitch a little bit more of this today hopefully i will be able to do that because like i said the moving is today and i don't know how it will all be happening so we'll see about that and uh okay wish me luck and wish me luck with the whole new resident of the house thing because i am a little bit kind of not that happy about that i'm sorry <laughs> but i'm not so this is what's happening with us 
We are playing. And we're learning to talk. We are saying ba. <laughs> I've actually invented this little corner. Um, I've moved the chair. It's kind of uh, single into the three, you know, sofa seat. So it kind of created this little nest for him. And now I can put him in his university to play because um, I didn't put him on the floor because it's kind of cold and I don't want him to get sick. So I don't want to put him on a mat on the floor. So I try to put him on a bed or something and this way he won't fall out of it. So we are talking to our little toy over there. Mark! Marky! No, he's busy. Okay, so... um. Today is the 4th. Actually, um, I've made some changes to this project. As you can see, I've changed the hoop. And it's so much more comfortable because the other one was really big. Well, not really big, but larger. And it wasn't that comfortable to hold because these hoops are really, really heavy. There you go. This is the back side of my work. I do make little knots. I don't really, you know mind the whole mess behind sometimes i do sometimes i don't care about that um i think that depends on the mood <laughs> but um i because this hoop is really heavy it's kind of difficult to hold it in your hands for a very long time and if you want to stitch for a long time then you have a problem but i found in my one of my bags this one, I use these little hoops for um, one of them for my uh, pandemic for the long dog sampler. And this is the second one that I have. I knew that I had another one somewhere and um, apparently I did. <laughs> so as you can see, this is my progress for this uh, day. I didn't... I couldn't stitch that much yesterday because the whole moving and yeah my father-in-law moved in with us actually a little bit traumatic for me I did not expect um, that we will end up living with one of our parents again and to be honest not really happy about that well that's a long story but um, there's nothing that I really can do about it. We'll see how it goes. If we do not, you know, like it, we move out. But for now, um, I think that's going to be the arrangement. I don't believe there's going to be a problem, but I'm not really happy because, uh, you know, I really wanted to, we really wanted actually to have our privacy. Finally, we did. We lived, um happily <laughs> in this place and we were thinking to be uh, living here for a very long time after that but um i don't know i don't know we'll see about that but back to cross stitch as you can see i did progress with it quite a bit because it's so easy to hold in your hands this little hoop is much lighter because it's smaller but because of the you know metal inner frame it's not light at all but i do i did take this little you know thingy and that's what holding my fabric together but altogether it's really fun to stitch it's not a difficult stitch it's pretty easy but still you do need to pay attention because there are many different uh, combinations of colors. Maybe um, one thread, two thread, three thread, uh, blends, whatever. There's a lot of things going on in here. But I think I'm managing even without crossing things out. I think I do pretty well. And we'll see. What will happen next um for this project i think that's enough i think i want to stitch something else now um 
hopefully i'll be able to do that today if not maybe tomorrow um i think that tomorrow will be the last day and i will put this video out because like i said i don't want these videos to be too long like i used to do like 40 minutes long i think that's a little too much so every like two three days i will be releasing a video and we'll see what will be happening next uh let's just flow with it because i decided that i am really bad at making plans and that's it <laughs> anyways what i want to stitch next is this this is oven this is uh lake lewis and if you can tell i've already entered the forest on the top so soon it will be the rest of the cabin i love this project it's really easy it's really you know beautiful it's pretty but uh not of my larger projects <laughs> that's one of my favorites i do prefer big projects like my heaven and earth which i am really dying to keep stitching because i finished a sector and now i can move to the next that's going to be really really interesting what's going to appear over there i think flowers would be there and that's something that i would like to do all oh, right so we'll see if i'll be able to stitch a little more today tonight because it's already uh almost seven o'clock yeah it's seven o'clock and we are supposed to be at friend's house at eight so uh maybe after we can come back i will give uh marky a bath he will eat go to sleep and i'll be able to stitch a little bit though i do want to do some diamond painting as well i don't know i would i just want to do everything i want to do all my projects if i could have octopus arms i would have been stitching all of my projects together like one after the other or like not one after the other parallel <laughs> parallel um all right uh so let's see if i'll be able to stitch again tonight hopefully i will be able to and that will be the next project for tonight hey guys so um today is saturday um i know that i've said that i started stitching this last night i did stitch just a little bit of it i did not have the time to stitch it at all i was thinking that today maybe i will keep stitching it but i decided to use the time that i have left today to do at least at my house to do my diamond painting just a little bit but uh this is just what i've done yesterday the wide thread if you were able to see that here just a little close up i just stitched this tiny little area with the white and nothing else that was really disappointing <laughs> but you know what i think that i will be taking this one with me uh or no i no sorry that's not right i will be taking with me my um dimensions kit the um, um christmas ornament because i think that one i want to you know just try and finish i don't i'm not sure that i will but still i want to and this one well i kind of want to stitch it but i want to do the diamond painting more because i have this special spot on my wall now that i am going to hang marky's portrait with on not with <laughs> And that's something that I really, really want to proceed with and, you know, just kind of finish it. Uh, I'm only halfway through, but I think that if I push on it a little bit, I will continue and I will succeed. So just a little disappointment with this one. I didn't get to stitch it much, but I did just the tiny bit. Now, there is a little something that I'm planning um, after finishing my uh, nutcracker. I have decided to keep uh, playing with the little kits and playing with the little kits. Sounds funny. Um, and I do have one more kit. I, I actually have two more kits from Jarpetitsa with the toys, but I am making order for quite a few of them now. And 
uh, the one that I have now at my place that I really want to start um, just like the nutcracker no hurry about that just you know take it little by little as like as much as I want to stitch it I will and let me show you what that is and there she is um, all right so I don't know if you are familiar with the Russian Santa Claus. Uh, if uh, Santa Claus has a wife, Mrs. Claus, I do know about her. Um, Russian Santa Claus is called Dead Moroz, and he is kind of like Grandpa Winner. Uh, and he is, well, basically he is the same as Santa Claus, but he is, um, he has a little bit uh, the, his history, let's just say, is a little different. Um, maybe I'll film about it in another video. But he he doesn't have a wife. He has a granddaughter, and his granddaughter's name is Snigurichka. She is like this little wintry little girl, and there she is. This is her. This kid actually has some beading in it, and I think that she's really cute. Um. I don't know why, but when I ordered this little girl, I did not order Didmoros. Uh, I just call him that. Well, just remember that Didmoros is uh, Santa Claus. Now, uh, I think maybe because he was missing, uh, they didn't have him back then. But I do have her, and I will be definitely ordering her grandfather. But for now, maybe I should start her. Now, what's inside this little kit? It has, of course, plastic canvas. They all are on plastic canvas. It has a uh, cut and thread, 18 colors. It has plastic canvas, chart, beads. Uh, finished size is 13 over 8 centimeters. She's not big at all. She's tiny. Um, and... Mm -mm. Oh, basically that's about it that that's all that you should know about her she is really really pretty i think she's so cute you can see the beads on her dress she's holding holding a little squirrel um i think this will be really fun to stitch she is not big she's tiny so that's interesting the same type of kit as the nutcracker um, I will not be opening her now. I am going to visit my mom today, uh, like for two days. So um, this is something that I will be taking with me. I will open it at, at her house, so you probably will see it um, in the next video. The you know what the kit contains. Uh, for now, this is something that's going in my traveling bag along with my dimensions kit. I will not be taking my heaven and earth. Uh, just because I'm not going for that long and I decided to just take two little kits with me and not go crazy because I, I will definitely not be stitching all of that at her place. If I would have been gone for a week, I probably would have taken more. But for now, like going for like a day and a half, I think that's kind of stupid taking so much with me. Uh, but... Anyways, uh, this will be my new start, at least one wintery start, um, and hopefully the kits that I have been waiting for are going to arrive soon. So yeah, I have something really interesting going to happen, you know, in my mail soon. So I'm waiting for that. Uh, well, that's about it for this little video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, subscribe. Don't forget. Give me thumbs up, write comments, and press the bell below to be notified when my next video will come out. Every like two, three days, I probably will put out a video. And I will definitely try and film, you know, uh, an update or a whip update for all my finished designs up until today. And what i am planning on stitching so that's something that is pretty interesting for me as well because i've never filmed anything like that before so that's going to be something new i will try to do that i hope that i will be able to okay guys i love you all thank you for watching and i see you in my next video bye bye